Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. While turbos produce the boost that we all know and love, at the same time they also produce heat, which is why any good efficient turbo system is going to use an intercooler. The job of the intercooler is to take the charge from the turbo and then cool it down before it goes into the intake. As we all know, cool air is going to equal horsepower. The problem is as you make more boost, sometimes the intercooler can't keep up. The intercooler gets heat soaked, then it just passes hot air to your motor, which is going to cost you power. In the case of our Focus ST, we've made enough modifications now that the factory intercooler is well past its efficiency range. So today we're going to remove that and install this aftermarket piece from Vortec. The Vortec is a larger core, so it's going to do a much better job of avoiding the heat soak we're getting with our factory turbo. We went with the Vortec because actually it's the easiest one to install. It requires no cutting, no drilling whatsoever, and you can actually keep the factory shutter system, which is not an option with many aftermarket intercoolers. For this installation, you'll need a jack and jack stands or lift, 3 8 ratchet, 6 inch extension, T30 Torx bit, T20 Torx bit, quarter inch ratchet, 6 inch extension, 7 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter wrench, 8 millimeter stubby wrench, flathead screwdriver or pick, flashlight, and safety glasses. The first step in removing the factory intercooler is to remove the factory bumper cover. We're going to start by removing these four clips located right here. Pull the center out, and you can pull the whole clip out. The hood release is attached to the bumper cover, so we have to remove the hood release cable from the latch. The easy way to do this is to push the latch over, and you actually pull the cable right out the top. Let's pop the clip off here. The last part on top is these two torque screws on either end. To start removing the bumper cover underneath, we'll have to start with this air deflector followed by the belly pin. All are attached by Torx head screws. Next, remove the seven screws to hold the lower fascia to the body. Next are three screws located in the wheel well area on both sides. One's down at the bottom here, the other one's kind of hidden behind the bumper cover here, and the third one is right inside there. Once you have all your hardware removed, the last step in removing the bumper cover from the fender is these two little clips located on each side. Once you remove all the hardware, the bumper cover is held on simply by clips. You want to start with the wheel well, pull it outward, and separate it from the front of the car. You want to be extra careful with these tabs under the headlights. You can pull it out enough and you can actually get a small screwdriver in there. Just lift up, making it much easier to pull it off. Make sure you don't forget to disconnect your fog lights before you pull the cover off. This is a factory flapper system. With the Vortec intercooler, unlike some other ones in the market, you actually don't have to remove this. If you want to leave the factory system in place, you can leave this in place and install the Vortec behind it. In our case, we're looking for the maximum airflow. We're not worried about it, so we're going to remove it. Either way, you do have to remove it to install the intercooler. Just like the rest of the front of your Focus, it's held on by T30 Torx screws. I can slide it off the lower clips. Now the shroud's out of the way, you can see the flapper system itself. Before we remove the flapper, we're going to start by disconnecting the plug located right over here on the side of the radiator support. To make it easier to remove, we're going to unclip our bumper support. The upper grill and let it come off, there's a clip on each side, just pop them free. The flappers are just slid into place, there's no hardware, so you want to start with one corner, 
kind of get it up high enough to get it free and do the same thing on the other side. Once you have it free, let it rest on the factory intercooler. Start the factory intercooler removal by taking off these two tiny 8 millimeter bolts located below the intercooler. You need a small wrench to get to these, they're kind of tight in here. Now remove the pipes from the intercooler on both sides. Now it might take a little bit of work, but we've got to disconnect the pipes from the intercooler itself. I just got to shimmy them back and forth. Before you remove the factory intercooler, make sure you disconnect the map sensor. Before we put your factory intercooler aside, you want to make sure you remove the map sensor. That's going to transfer over to our new Vortec. We'll reinstall it using the factory hardware. And it's ready for installation. Start the install by reconnecting the map sensor. Get it up into place here. Make sure you get it inside so it goes up underneath the factory bracket. The hose is connected on both sides, and then we'll tighten them down. Now you're going to supply hardware. We're going to connect our intercooler to the bottom of the radiator support. You basically have to put the nut up on top and then thread the intercooler into it. Since we're not planning on reinstalling the shutter system, we're going to take the harness and just tie it up out of the way. That's pretty much it for installing the intercooler on the car. Now it's going to put back everything you just took off. In our case, like you said, we're not using the shutters. We're looking for maximum flow of both the radiator and the intercooler, so we don't think they're necessary. and your installation's finished. The Vortec intercooler should help with heat soak and keep the inlet temperatures down on our Focus ST. Once we get our downpipe installed, we'll load up a new tune with our access port, head back to the dyno, and see what kind of power we're making. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates on our Focus ST project car.